What's up, you chuckle fucks? It's your boy, Dark Right Go here with What If Issei had a Dragon Ball Z uh, hero system. I'm just gonna call it the DBZ system. But yeah, pretty much I kind of thought of this just because of the fact that I kind of watched one clip of what's it called? Or not clip, kind of a couple of clips of mostly these uh, Super Dragon Ball heroes, which I am going to watch a franchise. Uh, later, but not the point. But right now, I'm going to say one thing. Uh, yes, my favorite anime is Dragon Ball Z. So, of course, this kind of went... Uh, mostly this idea just kind of went... Ah! But yeah, mostly just screaming and going Super Saiyan. But, oh no. Okay, not the point. I'm just geeking out for Dragon Ball stuff. But yeah, I thought of this what if a while ago. Mostly also from the fact that Isaac keeps like sending like thumbnails of what if this, what if Goku was the last uh, sand, even though he's supposed to be already the last. But not the point. Uh, mostly I just thought of this. I never really mentioned to the other guys. I just thought of this in my head. I was like, you know, I will do this later. Because I was watching a clip, a few clips, uh, yeah, a few kind of clips, and also hearing the music of the Super Dragon Ball uh, Heroes kind of thing song, the God mission, the Universe mission, and other things. Yeah. I, I have no clue. I, for, for fuck six. Uh, not the. Yeah, not the point. Uh, but. <laughs> what the fuck, I'm rambling up. Okay, but not the point. So, mostly the character named Beats, you know how he actually has a power to actually go, well, into a machine and be able to go into a Dragon Ball War? Yeah, that's going to be similar to the same with mostly Issei. Doing the exact same. But I'll explain and how this was going to work out. So we go into mostly the story now. We go into mostly a time skip. Well not a time skip. Mostly a day of well mostly a brownish hair boy. With kind of goldenish brown eyes. Right now being nervous as hell to go into the uh was it car. Well the ORC after kind of well fighting Riser and beating the shit out of Riser and saving Rias. This is where he's a little nervous and scared. He He's right now wanting to actually show off his true feelings towards Rias, like tell her her, tr uh, tell, uh, well mostly her about mostly his true feelings about her, mostly about how he, he actually feels about and hoping that mostly rejection is not a thing. Well, mostly he knows that rejection is a thing, but this is where, well, he's just hoping this where well, we'll see. He's a little bit scared. He's thinking of just walking away and just thinking that now nah, he shouldn't do this. Until this where a dragon snores and tell him to fucking do it already. God damn it! Because he somehow got woken up from the emotions that EC is right now feeling. This is where EC decides to nod it and right now kind of go off. To well, as Grius. This where well, this was mostly after the whole riser battle. After mostly Ise managing to sacrifice his arm for for mostly Diedrich, and this where well, he decides to kind of go inside. This where well, of course his arm is still kind of oozing with a lot of draconic energy. Of course it needs to be sapped, but not the point. This where well, when he walks in, he kind of sees Rius, and this where Rius is doing paperwork. He noticed Kiba right now, kind of cleaning his sword, like polish, uh, yeah, polishing his sword. He noticed Koniko eating sweets with kind of sharing with Ozzy Argento. And of course, where, yeah, Ozzy Argento is right now sitting next to Koniko. And notice, well, Akuno right next to, well, Rias and kind of talking to her about the whole mostly paperwork and other stuff. That's where he stays a little bit nervous and thinking that maybe he should not and just sit down and be, this where Drake says, oh my god, you somehow annoyed me and woke me up from my sleep, so go do it, goddammit. Act like a goddamn dragon like you are. You have a dragon, take your gear, do it already, goddammit. He says, okay, 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 fine, I'll do it. But we go into mostly, he say kind of getting towards mostly the, uh, well, the well, mostly the seat, or not seat, mostly the table in front of him being Reyes Grimmery. Well, the table that's right now, uh, Reyes is sitting behind, but yeah. Issei tried to argue with Diedrich about like, but maybe, maybe what's the call? Uh, it's because if I even try to ask her out, maybe uh, this is where Drake said, oh my god, shut up for a second. Look here, you're a dragon, you have a dragon sacred here, you basically are the host of me. Now at the same time, you save her from Riser. She can't just reject you just plain, uh, daily plain or something. There's no way in hell you would be rejected. 
Yeah, you're right, DJ. I did save her from Riser. And this is where, well, mostly Issa decides to talk to Rias and say, um, a present. This is where, well, Rias looks up and says, yes, Issa kun. This is where, well, how can I say, ara ara, Issa kun? This is where, well, Issa says, um, Rias, so since I beat, uh, well, how should I say, uh, this is where Issa is going. This is where, well, mostly he is a little bit nervous, and this is where I'm going to notice this. Azia, who was kind of not really paying attention, she was eating with Koniko. Koniko notices and really did not really care too much. Kiba notices and he was just like smiling while polishing his sword, but yeah, he didn't really understand too much about Issei. But yeah, and this is where, well, Akuno can actually see Issei struggling to say his words. Where he says, mm hmm, do you need something, Issei? This is where, well, Issei said, uh, so, um, what do you. This is where DJ said, I will fucking say it if you don't hurry up. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Calm down, DJ. Fine. Will you please... Will you please become my girlfriend? Issei said out loud. This is where catching everyone off guard. This is where Rias was shocked. This is where she says, um... Well... No. This is where... Well, she just plain to reject mostly Issei. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, but... This is where Rhea says, put her hand right in front of herself and says, Sorry, Issei, but I'm not really looking for, well, dating right now. I'm, I'm just not looking, or I'm not really interested in dating or any of that. So, I'm sorry. Besides, you're not really my type. This is where, well, Issei just gets his heart shattered. And right now, even more shattered. This is where Drake says, Damn! Issei, are you okay? This is where, well, Drake is just like, He's not laughing, he's just shocked. Issa just got fucking rejected. And just got told that, yeah, she's not interested on in him. And this is what Rhea says, I'm very happy. Well, I am very happy that you saved me from Riser and the man. This is where, well, before she can even, like, continue on, Issa ran out of the room. He was crying. This is where he opened the doors and didn't care if he slammed them. This is where he just ran out of it. Ran out of the ORC, but yeah. This is where, well... Mostly Drake is trying to contact Issei, but Issei is too right now, with like Dark Cloud and other things. He's remembering Raynor at the same time. He's right now too dark and depressed at the same time. This is where, well, Aria said, uh, this is where mostly, uh, she felt like a stinging slap to the mostly left of her. Turned around to see her queen, just frustrated and angry on her. This is where, well, Akuno says, you teased him. You idiot. You just... Uh, this is where, well, Akuno was just shocked and dumbfounded to believe that her kind of best friend would just destroy a young uh, man's heart. This is where, well, mostly Koniko didn't care. I was going to say, oh, Ryusen, you're so mean. <laughs> this is where, well, mostly she was confused, but she kind of does sound like a little bit same when mostly Issei does something dumb like in Renault Cannon for that whole admitting his feelings and other things, but yeah. But this is where, well, Kiba was just ignoring this because he doesn't want to deal with any girl problem. Guy or girl problem, he just doesn't care too much. He doesn't even know what he's going to be doing next, but yeah. This is where, well, right now, Reyes was confused until Akuno just explained to him what the hell Reyes just did. Pretty much, she told Reyes that you basically tease him a lot about you showing your brush and other things and, of course, sleeping with him. But, of course, you reject him. Just because he asked you out? Weren't you the one to actually make a marriage arrangement with you and mostly him? Well, right now making Rhea kind of quiet down. Because she did remember telling that to Akuno. Of course, Akuno was jealous. But of course, she was teasing the fact that mostly she's going to take Issei away from Rhea. And blah, blah, blah. But yeah. This is what, well, Rhea was like, hmm, she didn't really care too much. Well, I mean, she did. But of course, she... Yeah. There's a white one. Right now, Rhea says, um, but I already said I'm not interested. I I just told him what I truly feel about. What do you want me to say, huh? That I accept him? I do accept him as my pawn. I'm happy that he saved me from rising. And this is what, well, not, uh, Akuna smash her hand onto the desk and says, you idiot. That's what your problem is. You don't see him as a kind of person, as a savior. You just see him as the person that just saved you out of, well, mostly out of his duty. Out of his, well, mostly 
Well, out of the servant of mostly you, you're Grimmery, but he sees you more than just Rhea's Grimmery. He sees you as mostly, well, someone else, someone that he can appreciate. But you just see him as a pawn, nothing else, don't you? That's what well, Rhea says. No, that's not. Yes, that's true. I know that's true. <sighs> Damn it. I gotta go find him. That's right. Well, mostly we go into a time skip of Issei. Issei is right now depressed. And of course, he did went to an arcade, not a cave, not nothing. He just went to an arcade because he was just depressed. He didn't want to hear anyone. He didn't care about anyone. He did just took like headphones that someone was literally hearing music in them. And of course, he didn't care about who exactly headphones were there. But of course, they were already there on like this game. That he used to just love to play sometimes when he gets out of school, not dealing with any perverse stuff in middle school. Because of the series that he loves to just watch most of the time. That's why this kind of arcade thing was here. This is where, well, it's called, uh, mostly the game is called Super Dragon Ball Heroes. This is where, well, he doesn't even know what mission anyone's playing, but of course he doesn't care. This is where, well, he just takes his spot and right now kind of, well, just here's the song that the person or whoever left him here is hearing. The song he's hearing right now is called, um, so he's hearing Dragon Ball Souls, but yeah. So yeah, he's hearing Dragon Ball Z, the Kai of like Dragon Ball Souls, uh, yeah, Dragon Soul, but yeah. Yeah, you get the point. But of course, is where well, he's just hearing that. Time. Yeah, he's ignoring Diedrich's call outs. Of course, Diedrich is trying to well, mostly appear in EC's head or try to like bring him into the mind skip. Yeah, that's not happening. This is where Diedrich says, EC, god damn it, listen to me. This is where well, luckily, EC doesn't have too much draconic energy or the evil pieces reacting on his body to become corrupt or any of that. He's just depressed. Yeah, you get the point. He's hearing that song. Also, that's kind of stuck in my head for a while. But not the point. This is where, well, we'll see. Jesus Drake is saying, damn it, he's like, take off the damn headphones. Actually, why aren't you just hearing me? I'm screaming this in your head, and you're just ignoring me? What is there, a fucking depression wall? This is where literally it's a depression wall. He's like, ah, He's trying to just punch through it, but yeah. This is where, well, we go into EC right now playing, well, Dragon Ball. Pretty much the game he's right now playing is just an arcade version of the uh, Super Ball. Yeah, Super Dragon Ball uh, Heroes, but yeah. He's right now fighting against Frieza, and this is where Frieza's like, Oh, you fucking monkey! This is where in the game, you fucking monkey, I shall destroy you for your subordinates against me. This is where he's playing as Bardock, and this is where Bardock says, I don't give a damn about you, Frieza! This is where, well, right now they're fighting, but yeah. He says like, and he doesn't really care until this is where someone just uh, right now cough into his hand, telling well mostly trying to get Issei's mostly just noticing the person, but of course he ignores the person or he just doesn't hear the person. This is where well Issei keeps thinking his head just singing, but yeah. But this is where well while this is happening, this is where well Issei kind of keeps playing, but this is where well. The person gets annoyed and just hits Issei in the back of the head. Issei says, uh. This is where, oh, Issei says, what the? He turns around to see, well, someone who seems to be the same height as Sona, which kind of also looks like Sona, but more emo somewhat. This is where, well, she scoffs and looks at angry at Issei, saying, hey, fucker, do you not know this is my fucking spot? He says, hey, is there a fucking name on this? He says, said with no care in the world. This is where, well, mostly his eyes seem to be emotionless. The girl actually notices and actually kind of gets nervous about him. Are you okay? He says, hey, no, I'm fine. Sorry. This is where, well, he said kind of like puts the headphones down. And of course, the where, well, he kind of just says, sorry about that. No, I'm fine. This is where, well, Isubasa was about to keep walking away until mostly he already did finish the mission that was kind of against Frieza. And this is where, well, before he can even walk away, mostly the girl did grab his hand. Now, this is where, well, he got, well, he turns around confusedly because he got his wrist kind of grabbed. He turns around to see the girl and saying, You're, uh, I want to just say, thank you for beating that level. I kind of just went to the bathroom out of frustration, but yeah. 
Thanks for yeah, beating that level. I, I couldn't really beat it. Um, what's your name? This girl seems to be mostly around Issa's age. And of course, she has very sharp purplish eyes. Very darkish purplish eyes. Like truly violet. But this work well. Mostly she has kind of purplish hair. And this work well. She kind of has this kind of like emo outfit somewhat. This work well. Issa said, huh? My name? It's Issa. Issa Hiro. He really didn't care if this girl would hate him or something. This work well. Mostly. The girl says, huh? You see? Hmm. Interesting. Well, my name is, well. So this is what, well, he, uh, mostly not he, mostly she said, oh, well, my name is Uzi Murasaki. This is what, well, mostly she kind of just smiles a little smile underneath her. Mostly just kind of looks down and just smiles. This is what, well, she also scratches her kind of like face a little bit. This is what, well, she does have a black beanie and a kind of like blackish outfit somewhat. Like with a, uh, what's it called? Black kind of like skirt, but yeah. With mostly purplish high socks and, well, black boots, but yeah. This is where, well, she looks to be kind of flat chested, but not entirely. This is where, well, mostly it's a jacket. It's quite puffy. You can barely see. This is where, well, she kind of just says, thank you for actually beating the level. This is where, well, mostly Issa says, yeah, no problem. I actually did not know this was. No, it's fine. I just was wondering why were you kind of grabbing my stuff? I was kind of frustrated and angry, but I'm happy that you beat the level. So, does that mean you kind of like the Drag Ball uh, Z franchise? That's right, well, you say kind of smiles a little bit and says, yeah, I do. I always loved it when I was a child, ever since it came on. This is right, well, mostly both of them just starts talking, both Uzi and Ethe. Of course, smiling and gently talking to each other, but yeah. But this is right, well, mostly there was other people who were actually kind of, well... Just in the arcade, or mostly they're just playing different games, but yeah. While Uzi and Issei just talks and just, yeah, they keep talking, whatever. But this is where, well, mostly Issei felt kind of happy and kind of enjoyed the talk with Uzi with the different Dragon Ball Z kind of franchise and other things. They talk about different animes, but mostly Dragon Ball Z was mostly one of the biggest topics they talk about. Because truly, mostly Uzi said that if she was able to become anything, she probably would have became a San or an Android. Just because she said how powerful Android 17 was. This is what, well, Uzi kind of scoffs and says, I'd rather become a full-blooded San. Just because, I don't know about you, but I do want to kind of become either Broly, Goku, or, yeah. This is what, well, or even was it called? Bardock. Yeah. This is what, well, we'll see Uzi scoffs and says, huh. Like, if it, if you ever get the legendary Super Saiyan, that'd be a surprising thing. This is what, well, he says scoffs and just says, really, you think I wouldn't be able to get the legendary Super Saiyan? This is what, well, we'll see he says emotions, even though they were still in turmoil, he seems to be kind of more light up and cheerful. This is where DJ says, oh, thank goodness. This girl managed to calm him down. He didn't go into a juggernaut drive stick, but goddamn, he was depressed as shit. I still gotta talk to him. This is where, well, mostly, um, Issei said, whatever, Uzi. This is where, well, they keep talking, but whatever. We go into a time skip. It's now dark, and of course, the where, well, the person says, okay, we're closing up. It's already like 10 o'clock. You guys need to get out of here. This is where, well, mostly, uh, the store owner said, mostly not the store owner, but the cashier. This is where, well, the person that's at the counter most of the time, but yeah. You say news, he said, oh, right. This is where they feel embarrassed. They kind of have a little blush on their face from the fact they were actually staying here for a while. And actually just kept talking to each other and haven't noticed anyone else that were just gone, but yeah. You say news, he just watched us and said, yeah, we'll be leaving then. This is where other stoner says, yeah, get out of here, you two lovebirds. This is where both of them blush and just say, shut up. This is where both of them say at the same time. This is where, well, Uzi says, huh, it's raining. Oh, shit. This is where, well, Uzi can put on her jacket, but she knows that Uzi doesn't really have a jacket or anything. And this is where, well, Uzi says, are you going to be okay? It's kind of pouring out here. Uzi kind of just smiles and with a little gentle smile says, of course I'm going to be fine. I'm a guy. It's not like lightning is going to strike. Ah, how? At least he kind of just like step into the water and like you just strike him to say, ow, that hurt it. Ow, ow, ow. And this is where Uzi said, are you okay? This is where Uzi said, no, I'm fine. I'm perfectly fine. Fuck you, Zeus. God, that hurt like a bitch. This is where well, Uzi says, are you sure you don't want to go to a hospital? 
Let's go to a hospital. Uzi kind of said, I don't know if I can touch you because I don't know if you have lightning still on you. Uh, let's just go to a hospital. This is where, well, Diedrich tells Issa that would be a bad idea, but Issa didn't listen, but whatever. We go to a hospital, and the person, the doctor, is right now kind of seeing the patient and saying, so you just said you got hit by lightning, and you got up and walked uh, back? You got up and just walked to a hospital thinking you're not fine. Yes. Well, clearly you're not made out of magnets, so mostly that's a plus. Wait, what? Well, mostly if someone got hit by lightning, some in some cases, you will literally become magnet and like literally object would just fly towards you. I just had this knife here and it didn't fly towards you. It's literally made out of complete metal. Wouldn't that stab me? Well, you probably would have been able to dodge it, wouldn't you? Issei looks at the fucker and says, you son of a... Uzi was really wanting to cuss out this person. That's where Uzi is saying, Are you fucking stupid? Never mind. <laughs> this is where well, the person says, You're not right now messing with any uh, functions or any of that, but yeah. Are you are you expecting me to become a fucking superhero or something with the fact that I got hit by lightning? What are you expecting me to become the fucking Flash? He just said, Towards the doctor. Doctor said, I mean, can you run? Well, you want me to fucking start running like hell, fucking stopping time and being able to be a hero? This is where all the person said, yes. Shit, I'd rather not be the... Sh I, I am not wanting to be the Flash at all. Shit, if that lightning could ever... Well, if that lightning was able to give me the power of becoming a sand warrior, then that'd be fun. This is where well, Uzi scoffs and says, yeah, right. If that power could actually... If that if that lightning strike can actually give you the power of becoming the Super Saiyan, then I also want to get hit by lightning. Because I want to change into either a... What's it called? Well, Android or a sand. Maybe both of them at the same time. He says scoffs and says, why not just a sand? Well, because I get infamous power if I'm an android. Mm. And so she stick her tongue at Issei, which Issei kind of just like looked at her and just narrowed his eyes. But whatever. The doctor says, okay, well, truly we don't know if anything happened thanks to that lightning, but you're going to have to stay overnight. Uzi says, huh, oops, well, it looks like you're going to stay overnight there, Issei. This is where Issei says, hmm, if I get mostly my sand powers at the night and I'll be able to go to a super sand state, then that'll be the greatest. This is where Uzi scoffs and says, that's not how it works. I mean, Goku got hit by lightning, he went super sand. That's not how it works. I know. Issei kind of just said. This is where, um, admitting that he's wrong. This is where, well, Uzi scoffs and thinking, at least you admit that you're wrong. Issei grins and says, yeah, I know. This is where, well, mostly we go into a uh, time skip of the next day. Issei kind of open his eyes and see that he's fine. Huh, I'm fine. Well, it's time for me to get out of here then. The doctor says that he's truly fine and there's really nothing happened to his body. So of course he decides to go to the arcade pretty early in the morning. And he sees that there's actually an event. Well, an event of a new machine being installed, like a new kind of machine. And this is where, well, Mostly Issei didn't really hear about this. It just seems to be a new machine. There's other people there, even Uzi, and this is where Issei says, What's happening? This is where Uzi says, Uh, it looks like a new machine is being installed. Probably for the new kind of update or new kind of machines for like the Dragon Ball, well, mostly the Super Dragon Ball Heroes franchise. This is where, well, mostly Issei says, I see. This is where Uzi says, Huh. It looks like you didn't become a sand at all anytime soon. This is where, well, Issei scoffs and just says, whatever, Uzi. This is where, well, mostly a lot of people kind of got these cards and other things because, well, yeah, they're like different cards. Either it, it said avatar kind of cards just to kind of customize your avatar on the machines. But, yeah, there was like mostly four machines in total and there was like a couple people just around them and whatever. And this is where, well. Mostly, there was only like, what's it called, 10 people or even more, like 15 or whatever. Issei counting as, well, mostly one of them. Well, mostly there were 17 in total because Uzi, Issei walked in, but yeah. But of course, there's a lot of people. That's where, well, Issei keeps getting pushed around just to look at the mostly screen to see what exactly is happening. Trunks is right now on the screen saying, we need help. We need your help. Now, being able to stop these time breakers. This is where, well. Mostly a lot of people are getting excited. This is where Issei right now goes up to the machine because he was pushed and forward. And this is where, well, mostly other people was kind of saying, hey, don't do that. This is where, well, Uzi says, eesh. This is where, well, 
Isig right now was right next to someone else as well. Well, this person kind of had like this mostly darker kind of hair color than his, mostly a darker brown color. But this where well, he, well, not darker brown, mostly Isig had a darker brown, but this person had lightish brown. This where well, mostly he had kind of like these goldenish uh, brown eyes similar to Isig, but they look like twins, but not entirely. This where well, their face structure were a little bit different, but yeah. This where well, well, Actually, they kind of did look like twins, like look like a duplicate, but not the point. This is where well, both of them just look at each other confusedly because they look like almost the exact same thing. Isa says, what's your name? Toshiro Hatsubanya. This is where, well, Toshiro Hatsubanya, or not Toshiro Hatsubanya. His name was, uh, yeah, Toshiro, uh, yeah, you know, it's a guy, but not the point. But this is where, well, or, yeah, fuck it, I don't care. I'll think of a name later, but yeah. There was other people actually appearing. Uh, right next to them, this is where, well, we'll see. Before anything happens, this is where Issei pulls out the card, and the card was crackling with this lightning color. Issei was confused and thinking this is some weird effect on it because it looked kind of robotic or whatever, the card. But this is where, well, he just had to smash the card down, and this is where, well, something happens. The machine was right now crackling with lightning, and this is where, well, it just touched a shot up to the sky, and right now, everyone that was there, even Uzi and Issei, was confused. The guy right next to him was even more confused. This is where, well, mostly all of them were gone. Every single 17, uh, well, mostly, not 17, every, like, mostly teenager that was there playing Dragon Ball, right now are gone. We go into several months later, literally several months later. This is where, well, there's a battle between mostly uh, Cokeville, who's right now kind of fighting against the kind of, well, heiress of, well, well, what's it called, Kuo. And this is where, well, even some church people and some other people, but not the point. This is where, well, we go into, we'll see something up here in top of the sky. This is where, well, it was this kind of blackish armor figure. This is where he kind of had reddish skin. Had a horns that were kind of black, but not the point. Had a kind of blackish sword. This is where, well, his face kind of looked demonic. Yeah, it's red and, of course, had yellow eyes, but not the point. This is where, well, his name was, well, his name was Janema. And this is where he had kind of like this little tag on his head that said Janema. Being level something, but this is where, well... He was right now scoffing and angry and right now roaring. He did have this bruise on his face and this is where he was angry. This is where, well, he was right now looking at Cokeville and of course since he's kind of a preserved kind of creature someone, this is where, well, since he has mostly purely white eyes but not the point, this is where, well, he starts kind of fighting Cokeville. Cokeville was confused. Cokeville right now tries to block a sword and says, what the, what the hell are you? This is where, well, Jimemba kind of tries to keep fighting against Cokeville. This is where, well, Freed appears trying to swing him, uh, swing an Excalibur straight to Jimemba, and it didn't do shit. Jimemba just looks at the sword, grabs it with his hand, and snaps it. And literally pieces. This is where, well, Freed says, holy damn. This is where, well, he gets blasted away, and this is where, well, he explodes into somewhere else. But he's not fully dead. Jimemba is just laughing. <laughs> This is where he then looks at Rius's barrage and even Sona's barrage. This is where, well, before anything else can happen, this is where Jamemo actually appears right in front of well, Rius, kicking her away. And of course, this is where, well, she smashes into mostly Sona barrage right now. Well, mostly Sona herself and getting knocked out. This is where Sona tries to get up, which she's actually slowly getting him, while Rius is barely able to get up because she's knocked out. She used a little bit of too much magical power, but at the same time, she's that she's just that weak that she get easily taken out. This is what, well, mostly Arcano is trying to send lightning at mostly Jemmo, and this is where it hits him, and it just doesn't do anything. He then grins and rushes at, well, mostly Arcano. Right now, about to send a powerful punch that should take out mostly Arcano. But before doing that, a mysterious figure with a black cloak appear right now, kicking the shit out of mostly Jemmo, right now launching him straight to the ground. Jemmo, <laughs> This is where he screams at mostly the person who would literally kick uh, kick him away. This is where the person right now appears with mostly wearing black boots, black kind of tight pants, but not too tight. This is where mostly black uh, black kind of jacket or hoodie, or whatever. This is where he also has the coat, but not the point. This is where, well, his cloak is right now blocking, or mostly his hoodie is right now blocking the top of his hair, and of course, you can barely see his face because it's right now darkness and what. This is where, oh, Jimmy is screaming. This is where he's roaring and raging and looking at the person that appeared. This is where, oh, mostly, uh, Jimmy must say, 
Those who are, well, he sends a powerful blast right towards mostly where Akino and even the figure was at. Before the uh, attack can even hit Akino, the person just fucking smacked that shit away and blows it somewhere else. This is where, well, Jimomoji. This is where he's raging at the person. He already knows who exactly the person is. And the person says, God, you're annoying. He said in a very deep toned voice. Akuno was confused, but of course she was a little bit scared of the person's voice. And of course the person seems to be quite strong in being able to fight against a demonic creature. Jemima right now rushes straight towards the figure. The figure right now dodges a swing, like a sword swing, before it like managed to kind of hit him well vertical. This is where the sword swing missed. And this is where, well, he, Jemima, before even reacting to what's happening, he gets punched in the face so hard, kick in the stomach, and launch to the wall. Mostly a tree, multiple trees. Jamama is screaming in right now, rage and pain and other things. This is right, well, Jamama right now appears with so much power right now increasing. When we'll see he's releasing so much in this world. Well, he sends a very powerful blast straight towards the figure. The figure right now had no time to dodge because if he dodged, then everyone behind him will get blasted. So, of course, what he does best is just right now use key to make a force field and try to block his... So it doesn't damage his clothes. But this work well, the attack still smash into him. And this work well, it smashed into him. This work well, his kind of black hoodie and cloak was actually gone. This work well, what was left was mostly a kind of golden figure outfit. This work well, he says, at least this didn't get damaged. At least Angela won't kill me. <laughs> but of course, his coat was already remo removed, of course, the work well. He does have a scarf that's right now wrapped around him that's kind of purple. And this work well, luckily that wasn't damaged neither. <sighs> this work well, the outfit that he's wearing kind of looks like royalty a little bit, but not much. It looks more like a outfit that kind of stands out for him to be some kind of fighter or something. This work well, mostly he's just saying, ah, this is annoying. Still, too much gold and white, as she puts. Uh, it would have been better as red and white, or not red and white, red and black. But I can't really choose it too much. Atori, well, not, yeah, Atori is the person that really doesn't like choosing any type of clothing for me. Or just Well, not, she doesn't like it. She likes it a lot. Not the point. This is where, well, he had kind of brownish hair, but it was very sharp and spiky at the same time. This is where he had kind of sharp, goldenish brown eyes. And this is where, well... He was looking at Jemima, and Jemima just like roars right now in anger, roaring at Issei. Yes, this is none other than Issei. Issei says, God, you're annoying. This is where his tail behind him is literally swinging around. This is where, well, his tail is actually like a brownish color, like a darkish brown color. And this is where, well, he decides to wrap his tail around and says, God, you're annoying. You know that? God, I hate time breakers like you, who just break through the time barrier and just make us end up in somewhere else. Where do you make us end up? This is where he turns around to see Akuna, and Akuna just blushes after seeing Issei. After so long, Issei also has kind of grew up. He's no longer kind of like 5'7". Uh, he is now the height of being 6'3", uh, but yeah. That's where he kind of got in really tall. I swear, well, Issei says, oh, hey Akuna. Been a while, isn't it? That's where Akuna says, uh, Issei, is that really you? Issei says, no, it's me, Goku. Issei said, it's me, Goku. Hi. Akuno just say, Goku? This is where Akuniko says, from the Dragon Ball series? He says, yeah, it's me, Goku. I'm here to fight strong people. This is where, well, mostly, uh, uh, what's it called? He says, said. This is where, well, making both Akuno and Koniko just confused, but yeah. But this is where, well, right now making, well, mostly both of them confused. Even Ozia was there, and she was happy to see Issei again. There's other people, but of course, this is where, well, they're just confused to see Issei looking completely different. This is where, well, he seems to be much more muscular and much more sharper. Issei says, ah, oh, whatever. You don't really care what I look like no more. Other than that, I got to deal with this person right here. This is where, well, he kind of like puts his hand to his hip and just looks at Jemima. Jemima's like, Arr. This is where he powered up to the max and just roars at Issei. He says, oh great, you're powering up. At least you're not much of a problem, unlike the others. Luckily Broly or any no one else is here. Other than that, step back, uh, Akuno. I'm going to be fighting him. That's what Akuno says, but you can't. He already been able to take out Tokoville and free it. And he says, hey, shut up, Akuno. You haven't even seen my full power. Not yet. 
Besides, I'll show you a glimpse of my full power. That's all right. Well, mostly, I don't know what's confused. Until Isaac's hair right now goes blonde. But mostly, Isaac puts his hands to the next one. Right now, kind of clenching his hands. And this is where Isaac, ah, This is where a glowing yellowish energy was right now appearing around Isaac. And this is where, well, it was kind of a yellowish color, but not the point. This is where, well, it was a little bit, well, yeah. Kind of, yeah, you know, it is a yellowish color. Well, it's kind of a bit of green, but not the point. This is where, well, he was like, ah, uh, This is where, well, mostly he starts kind of grinning his teeth. And this is where, well, mostly his power started rising a lot. If anyone can sense key, well, there are some people that can, that can sense nature energy. And key is somewhat nature, but not entirely. They can sense his power. This is where, well, the ground itself is right now cracking. This is where lightning was cracking. Crackling from the sky, smashing upon EC, but it didn't do shit. This is where, it, well, he's just like, ah. <sighs> this is where, well, EC now goes into a super sense state. This is where, well, he says, hmm. Well, look at that. This power is strong. I want to know if you'd be able to defeat me now, Gemma or Jenga, whatever the fuck you are. Who cares? This is where, well, before Jenga can actually right now rush towards EC, he gets kicked in the face so hard, right now, launched straight to some building. Like, Easy was right now in a Super Saiyan state. His tail was also kind of changed its color. Instead of being a kind of brownish color, it is now a kind of goldenish, kind of greenish color at the same time. This is where, oh, Easy kind of grins and says, hmm, is that the best you have? That's truly just pathetic, Easy said, with such a cocky voice, because he is a Saiyan and somewhat he becomes cocky. But this is where he's only taunting the enemy. The enemy rushes at him, Jema, and this is where, well, they both start clashing at each other, sending multiple fists at each other. Bah, 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 but you, you get the point. Right now, blocking each other, punches, kicking each other, blocking each other, punching each other. Yeah, you get the point. This is where Jema right now uses his tail to wrap around Easy, but Easy bites the tail, and this is where Jema screams. Ah! This is where um, Easy then punches shit at him, but yeah. They are both in a freaking battle stance right now. This is what, well, Jemma is like, he right now powers up to a new level, and this is where, well, he's right now in this darker, much more darker armor. His skin is much more darker, and this is where, well, he kind of has glowing red eyes, and this is where, well, he grins. He says, okay, you actually want to take this another level, is that right? Hmm, fine. Issa right now goes into a Super Saiyan 2. That's where, well, he went, ah! This is where both of them rush at each other. This is where well, they start fighting each other. Bah, 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 bah. This is where, well, before anyone can even recognize what the hell is happening, EC appears right in front of Jema, right now having a greenish ball and saying, Goodbye, sucker. <laughs> he blasts a hole through most of Jema. Jema right now goes, Urgh. Urgh. He's holding his chest. This is where, well, he heals it and then he just glares at EC. He says, Oh, you're like Boo. Annoying. <sighs> Whatever. I guess I can't hold back anymore, can I? This is where, oh, Easy right now kind of put his hands together. And this is where, oh, he says, ah, ah. This is where his power started increasing to very high levels. This is where, well, oh, mostly Jimmo was kind of confused. But he got scared of the power. It right now literally overlaps him entirely. Ah, ah, ah. This is where, well, his power is kind of just going on and on. And you just hear this theme song. Wait. You just hear this in the background. <laughs> this is where his power right now, it literally becomes so bright. It was right now a golden and green color. It's pretty much a fusion between mostly green and well, mostly legendary and like super percent. So just a state of being like a lightish green, but yeah, this is where oh well, he says like ah, ah, ah. this is where he right now goes into super percent three. He has no eyebrows, but that doesn't matter. His face becomes so sharp. His power right now just increases to the fucking max. Or probably the max, but there's no way you can tell him if he already reached God form or not. But this is where, well, mostly Issei says, hm, Let's see if you can be able to defeat me now. Issei disappears, punching Gemma right in the stomach. Gemma goes, Pah! This is where he gets punched again. This is where, well, Gemma cannot do anything. He's getting his ass beat left and right. Pah, 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 pah. This is where, well, Issei says, hm, 
This is, is this really the all the power you have? Truly, it's perfect. But this is where Issei sends up, like, mostly a green ball straight towards Juma. Juma, before dodging, he gets hit by it, and this is where, well, his power right now, uh, well, it's still there. But he's pretty hurt, this is where, well, he glares at Issei. Right now, where Murder's looking, this is where Issei says, hmm, is this really all you have? Pathetic. This is where Juma, right now, glares at Issei, and this is where, well, he, he just right now goes up in the sky, makes a huge ball appear in his head, mostly like a small ball until it becomes bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. It looks like a supernova, but it's like purplish and black. This is where Issei says, ah, so that's what you're going to do. This is where Issei catches a sword that was actually about to hit him and right now destroys it. This is where, well, he sees the huge ball rushing towards everyone and everyone kind of just wind their eyes until Issei right now puts his hands together right in front of him, then puts it right next to him, basically to the right side. Ka me ha me this is where a green ball appears and this is where it's cracking with so much purplish uh well not purplish actually purplish kind of lightning but not the point this is where oh he says hey. ah! this is where a huge blast of green and bluish energy right now smashes upon mostly the giant ball this is where you're gonna say this is where well mostly he's trying to push forward but of course he's right now using all his power he says he's kyle ken times three right now wiping Gemma from existence but yeah this is where a small little crystal falls out on the ground and says ooh crystal he grabs it Mostly Issei just tosses it in his pocket and says, Well, that was easier than expected. I didn't even need it to say El Dragon. Ah, sad. I was going to use that dragon move. When, who am I also going to be able to use it against? A light spirit almost smashed into Issei, which it did smash and just didn't do shit to him. It literally hit him in the head and didn't do anything. It just bounced off. He says, What the hell? That's where he noticed Kokuma and Kokuma said, What the? What the? How the hell did you survive that? Issei says, he has a sinister grin appears on his face and says, Hey, Dietrich, if you can wake up anytime soon. Huh? Oh, that's Cokeville. What, you want me to tell you information? No, no. Do you remember that technique that I learned from Son Goku? Oh, yeah? I think I have a special move to take him out. I think you're going to wipe out the city. It's going to be fine. Dude, I really... Can you at least power it down a couple? No, we're not powering done. Okay, fine. <laughs> This is where, well, Issei right now kind of, uh, his hand goes into a reddish color. And this is where uh, Kokomo noticed it's none other than the red god at the boosty gear. Issei says, now you can taste my power. I'll show you the true power of a sand warrior. <laughs> this is where he's still crackling with so much power. And this is where Kokomo says, what the hell? Oh, hell no. This guy is literally a god at this point. This is where Kokomo realized. This is where, oh, Issei says, you're not escaping. This is where Issei says, Rojo El Dragon! This is where a red dragon, southern red dragon, looking like Shenron, but it's red and having green eyes. This is where, well, Kokobo winds his eyes and just sees this whole slithering red dragon. Issei says, Be gone, you fucker! This is where, well, we'll see Issei still pricking. We'll just say things that will sound stupid because, well, he's not really taking anyone too serious. So, of course, it's where, well, before Kokobo can even do anything, like he sent multiple lights for straight toward Issei, the dragon was still rushing towards him. This is where, well, everyone just sees this, and this is where, well, Issei says, Red! Well, mostly he says, Rojo! Dragon, El Dragon, but yeah. So if you know the Spanish version, yeah, that's <laughs> that's the only way I can remember right? saying. But yeah, this is where well, the red dragon they have some tints of like gold. This is where well, kaboom, he smashes through well, mostly Cokeville's chest. This is where the red dragon is right now rushing straight towards uh Cokeville. Right now, just turning him nothing but to uh, ah. This is where well, there was nothing but just some feathers, ash, and. Probably burn feathers also because Issei sent a huge amount of power and key. Issei said, hmm, weak. This is where both valid and even what's it called freeze is wide eyes. Issei right now puts his finger, well, mostly two fingers up to his like head. Uh, mostly up here right in front of uh, free and even uh, valid and says, yo, what's good? I don't really like you two trying to escape me, especially you, free. I remember you right now stabbing me in the chest. This is where free right now uses his like sword and doesn't do shit. He uses a gun and doesn't do shit. Issei says, are you done? Kokomo says, what the fuck are you? You're no devil, are you? Uh, no, I'm a sand. A proud warrior sand. Now, take your punishment like a good 
Oh, uh, well, like a man already. This is where Free says, oh, hell no. Are you going to try to? This is where, well, he says, did you pray today? This is where Free said, uh, I know this. i seen this meme on fucking YouTube. You're not doing this shit to me. I, this is where, well, he just says, did I fucking stutter? Did you pray today? This is where Free said, oh, hell no. You're not doing this to me. No. Valet says, what the hell is happening? Free says, you either run, boy, or you're going to get your fucking... This is where, well, before a valet can even run, right now, a golden slash right now cuts his head. Basically, Issei had his hand into a karate chop motion, added a key, and made a sword, cutting his head off. And this is where, well, Issei says, did I fucking stutter, boy? Did you pray today? This is where, well, we'll see, uh, Free says, yes, I prayed. Good. Well, you can go see, uh, what's it called, God yourself. God's dead already. Well, you can go see the God of Destruction or whoever you're going to talk to, but who gives a damn? You have prayed. Now take your punishment like a good boy. This is where Free said, oh, hell no. But pretty much just each beating the shit and fucking Free over and over and over. And yeah, you basically just see Free getting jumped by a Super Saiyan 3 Issei. <laughs> yeah, basically he's getting like basically being used as a punching bag. But yeah. But of course, where, well... Uh, Free is just kind of all hurt, bruised up, and like, mm. he's like really hurt. He's like acting like a kid right now, kind of uh, right now in the what's it called, beetle position or what, what was it called? I forgot. But of course, he's right now kind of crouched, holding his like legs together. And that's where Issa says, "It seems you pray today. You can see God for yourself." This is where Issa right now makes a ball right in his hand and blows Free straight to hell. This is where, well, Issei say, well, that was easier than expected. Issei transformed out of his Super Saiyan and back to his normal form. And this is where, well, Issei kind of looks at his color and says, okay, not dusted. My scarf is okay. And this is where, before anything happens, a portal actually appears right now, smashing into Issei. Ooh! Issei say, ow, that hurt it. Uzi, damn it. This is where Uzi just hugging him, saying, you idiot. You could have just let me know about where you were going. What happened if you were stuck in this dimension? This stupid fucking dimension, I say. This is where Issei says, wasn't this the same dimension you came from? Shut up. This is where, well, Issei smiles and says, I'm fine, Uzi. This is where, well, a girl with purplish hair. She looks like, what's it called, Sona still? But of course, a little bit taller and mostly, well, good looking. More more good looking than ever. This is where, well, she kind of short, has short purplish hair. We're kind of, yeah, short, but not the point. Not into a bob, uh, not into a bob haircut, but still. Not the point. This is where it just reaches down towards her kind of neck, but not the point. I have very violet purple eyes. And this is where, oh. Mm. Well, see, she kind of looked like a, well, she had a very interesting chest develop from the last time you probably heard about this. But, yeah, she kind of has a size of mostly like, well, Zenobia size, but not the point. This is where, oh, she's right now pouting and looking angry at Issei. So, she kind of looks like this. So, she kind of looks like this, but, yeah. She's just having kind of purplish hair. Her eyes did become darkened. She does kind of have a black, not blue. With kind of purplish lines, but yeah. But yeah. She then says, hmm, idiot. You could have just told me anything, okay? Next time, tell me where the hell you're going. Easy chuckles and says, I'll tell you, Uzi, don't worry. Why are you so angry? Shut up. Also, you didn't destroy my scarf, did you? No. Well, good, I worry you made you another one. She then kind of puts her fingers together. Issei says, cute, like very quietly to her. But of course, everyone else heard it and just kind of sees that, well, Issei and this girl are kind of flirting. That's where, well, making, well, Akuno kind of jealous. And that's where, well, everyone else who saw this, just scared of Issei. At the same time, some girls are jealous. Because Issei became good looking. At the same time, quite strong and powerful. He didn't even need to use the Red Dragon Emperor power, but he used it because he wanted to fucking show how broken he is. Rias is still knocked out. Sona sees this, and right now she's a little bit jealous because, well, she actually wanted to be the one to, well, take care of Issei when Issei had his heart shattered and other things, but not the point. Issei said, okay, well, we got to go back to the uh, agency, shouldn't we? Uzi says, yeah, we should. Now, come on. This is where, well, Akuno grabs Issei's arm and says, where are you going? We just got you. Please don't leave. This is where right now uh, Akuno said. Uzi says, let go of his hand, you bitch. This is where Akuno says, who the hell are you? This is where well, Uzi says, the name's Uzi Murasuki. But that's not the fucking point. Let go of his fucking arm, you fucking crow. This is where well, Uzi said towards Mosi Akuno. And Akuno says, what did you say? I said, let go of his arm before I fucking destroy your arm. 
Yes sir, Issa is getting pulled left, right. He's already too tired. He just doesn't want to deal with this. Issa says, can we not deal with this? I'm tired. Yes sir, Uzi says, fine. Well, we still got to be going because, you know, Toshiro's angry for the fact that you took on this mission without him. What the fuck? Why the fuck does he want to take on this mission? Well, truly, he just wants to fight you because, well, he truly wants to know what is stronger, a fried chicken or a popsicle. This is where Insane right now kind of spit into his, like, right now hand, like, he goes, Pff. This is where, well, mostly, like, he spits, like, go for some blood and says, looks at Uzi. This is where, well, he says, really? Why the hell are you calling me a fried chicken? That popsicle can go fuck off. This is where, well, Issei smiles at her, at least kind of finally making her call him a popsicle. Well, the other person, this is where, well, right now making Issei say, oh, you want me to call him only a popsicle? I'm being equal, equally telling the truth. You are a fried chicken while he's a popsicle. Issei says, really? Why? You already know why. Now, come on. This is where she drags him into the portal and just leaves. This is what, well, making Akuna cry because truly, it seems that Issei seems to be much more different, much more powerful, and he seems not to care too much. He, mostly, yes, Akuna did try to kind of grab his arm, but Issei was kind of walking away. And yes, it was kind of slowly dragging, uh, dragging, well, not dragging, dragging Akuna, and this one, Akuna just cried because mostly she kind of got her hand, well, shaken off by Issei because Issei was annoyed already. This is what, well, Making Akuna cry and just looks at Rhea with so many frustration eyes. And this is where she just wants to send lightning upon her to wake her up and beat the shit out of mostly Rhea. Until mostly Sona stopped her and said, stop. What are you doing? Just let me do it. This is where, well, Sona said, it would be satisfying to see Rhea get the beat. And well, mostly the snot beat out of her by her queen. But no, we cannot. Fine. Damn it, she just walks away. Right now, kind of glaring at everyone, just wanting to be left alone. Kiba really didn't get his revenge satisfied, but I mean, it was funny to see Mosi free get the snot beat out of him. Like, holy damn. He wasn't expecting Easy to fucking give him that whole thing about, like, did you fucking pray today? Now, this is where it kind of gives him a headache because every devil does not like praying, but this is where Easy truly just used. Did you pray today as a fucking rude ass way to just beat the shit out of someone? But who gives a damn? Kiba really didn't care, but yeah. Other than that, this is actually where I'm gonna leave it off for mostly part one of what if Issei had mostly a Dragon Ball, or well, mostly a super, or no, just Dragon Ball Z uh, system. But yeah, not the point here. Uh, well, other than that, bye, see you, and yeah, I'll be going. Bye.